You've probably noticed a beautiful pattern in the nine times table from one to 10. The first digit of the answer is one less than the number we're multiplying by, and the second digit is the difference between our number and 10. For example, if we've got nine times six, the first digit is one less than six, which is five, and the second digit is the difference between six and 10, which is four. So nine times six is 54. But have you ever noticed that a similar pattern continues from 11 to 20? This time, the first part of the answer is two less than our number, and the second part is the difference between the unit digit and 10. So if we've got 13 times nine, we take away two from our number, 13 take away two is 11, then we find the difference between three and 10, that's seven. So 13 times nine is 117, nine, nine, fine, am I right? In fact, the pattern goes on and on and on. All we have to do is look to the next biggest multiple of 10. That will tell us how much to take away. So if the next multiple is 20, we take away two. If the next multiple is 40, we take away four. But each time for the second part of our answer, we find the difference between the unit digit and 10. Someone better call Schoolhouse Rock because it seems like nine was the magic number after all. But why does this work? Well, adding nine, which is what we're doing between each entry in the nine times table, is the same as adding 10, then taking away one. In other words, our tens digit goes up one each time and our units digit goes down one until we get to a multiple of 10. If we look at nine times 10 and nine times 11, the tens digit stays the same. So for the next 10 numbers, the first part of our answer is now two less than our number and so on. Spotting patterns is at the heart of mathematical ability. It helps us to organize information, find rules and shortcuts, solve problems. And the best thing is us humans are really good at it. In fact, fact, we wouldn't be here without our ability to spot patterns. When Dave ate the berries from that tree, he got a tummy ache. Then when Sandra ate the berries from that tree, she got a tummy ache. Perhaps we pick another tree. We come from a long line of humanity's best pattern spotters because the ones who weren't so good at it, oh, they didn't get to pass on their genes. So if you feel like maths isn't your strong suit, perhaps you just need to awaken your evolutionary pattern spotting instinct. And here's one for you to practice on. What pattern do you spot in the 19 times table? Let me know in the comments. For more times tables, tips and tricks, check out our clever bookmark set. Each one features the full table on one side and a mathemagic trick on the other. They'll help you level up your maths game the Sums of Anarchy way. Find them on our website, sumsofanarchy.com or comment Mathemagic for a link to purchase.